Hi there, this is Colin, and this is a quick video to show you how to export your Viva Builder page templates from one WordPress installation to another. So here I am in a WordPress installation called Sandbox. It's actually a local development install on my computer here. It's called Sandbox. So I have a page here. I'm going to go into Page Builder just to demonstrate how we do this. I'm going to save this as a personal template. So first of all, I'm going to click on Tools. And I'm going to go to save template and I'm going to call this one you know, my template. OK, so just so we know that we have this as an option when we bring it to the other installation. So I'm going to click save and that's saved. So we click OK. Now I can click done and publish changes. We haven't made any changes, but I do have that as a template now. So what we have to do from here or you might already have your, your template saved is let's go to our admin panel. Let's go down to tools. And then we go to export. Now, when we click on export, we're going to have this option here of layout templates as an option to export. Now, these are your actual Beaver Builder page templates. So let's click on that and then we'll download the export file. OK, and we're just going to save that in a temporary area. Let's go. Let's just put in uh, export just for now and open up that folder. And we're going to call it Sandbox WordPress. OK, so that will be my templates exported. Now, all we need to do is we go to a different site. And I've got one set up here with a Dynamic Beaver Tutorial site. Now, if I open up the sample page, I'm going to go to Page Builder. And it will bring in all that stuff that's there already. I just want to show you that there's no template there with that particular my template in. So I'm going to click on Templates. And if I go to your templates, you'll see that it's empty. OK, so I'm going to cancel that. Click done, uh, discard draft on this one. We're not, we haven't done any changes, so that one's gone. Now, the next thing we're going to do is go back to our dashboard here and go to tools. We're going to go to import. Now, the first time you do this, it's going to actually ask you to install an importer. So I'm going to click on WordPress and we're going to say, OK, install now. And that's the WordPress installer plugin installed. I'm going to activate it. And it's going to automatically run and ask me to choose a file. So I'm going to go and choose that file we saved in my temp directory. OK, so let's go to, what do they call it? Export. There we go. And I'm going to click on that file, open, upload and import. And we can assign it to the author. That's me. OK, so we can click uh, download and import file attachments because that will be the images. Submit. And there we go. So now we actually have those templates here in this other WordPress installation. So if I click on pages, let's add a completely new one. Add. OK, that's uh, my template. OK, and we will go to page builder. And this time we'll have the option of selecting my template. There you go. So if I select that, is installed. I haven't set up the page on this one to go full width, so I will go back and do that in a second. But as you can see, there's all my content there. I'm going to click on Done, Publish Changes. Now, one thing I didn't do on this particular site is go into Edit Page. I'm going to select Beaver Builder, Update. OK, and if we quickly view that file now or that page now, you'll see that we've got that image there. Now the background, ignore the background, it said brand new dynamic install. Dynamic puts the background of the gray color, but I just wanted to show you the layout between this one here. OK, this is where the page builder stuff starts and the page builder stuff starts over here. So as you can see, it's the same. The layouts are the same. The, the background colors are not because that's something that's built into dynamic. And actually, I can show you that really quickly. We go to dashboard, go to Genesis, go down to dynamic. Oops. Go down to the dynamic design. OK, and on the body, you're going to see the color set here, body background. If we set that to white, so it'll be F, 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 one more. There we go. And click Save Changes. Once we actually go back to that page now, which was our, my template page, you'll see that it actually is white now. So there we go. That's something you have to do in Dynamic. It defaults to put in the pages gray. But as you can see, we've got this area here now and this area here now. They are pretty much the same. OK, so that's how to bring your templates into a different WordPress install. Thanks for watching. Bye now.